Welcome to yoga number four. We're going to start off on our mat, knees bent, legs crossed, flat back, and we're just going to breathe. So take a nice deep inhale, exhale, contract your abs in. Inhale, think about filling your lungs, filling your belly. Exhale nice and slow. Think about pressing all the air out. Just practice breathing a few times. If you want, you can place a hand on a heart and hand on your belly. Feel your lungs and your belly expand as you inhale. Feel everything compress as you exhale. So you just want to build that mind-body connection here. Next, take a deep inhale, reach up, bring your hands to the heart. And now let's just roll out the neck. So circle in one direction a few times. Just trying to release any tension. You just want to connect to your mat. So anything that you're thinking about, try to let it go. Now sit up tall and we're going to come up to standing. Start at the top of your mat. You want your feet a couple inches apart. You're going to inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Reach down to the mat. Keep a slight bend in your knees. And then fold over your legs. And then you're going to come up for a nice flat back position. You must want to think about arching the back there. I know it sounds a bit contradictory, but you really want to contract your back muscles. It's going to help you get a nice tall posture. And then from there, you're going to step back into plank all the way down into knees, chest, and chin for a little inchworm. And then you're going to press through into low cobra. From there, come up onto the toes, push back over bent knees into down dog. Now, if you want, you can walk your dog out a little bit and about what I mean by that is just bending each knee, alternating. It's just going to help you press deeper into the pose. I'm sure your hamstrings are still a little bit tight at this point, so it's just going to help you warm everything up. And then you're going to shift forward and bring one foot at a time back up. Forward fold and then inhale, reach your arms up. And bring your hands through to the heart as you exhale. Inhale, reach up again. We're going to repeat our flow. We're just going to progress it each time. So this time our legs are straight and forward fold. Hands are lightly on the mat. Inhale, come up for flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, this time we're going to step back into plank. And we're going to lower through that knees, chest, and chin, that little inchworm position. Push forward into low cobra. And then you're going to exhale into your down dog. Again, if you want to walk out the dog a little bit, you can do that. You just want to gently get into these stretches. From there, step your feet forward, back into forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. So now let's take it up a little bit. We're going to inhale, reach up. Arch the back if you'd like. From there, forward fold. So hands are lightly placed on the mat. And then you're going to inhale, reach up, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bring your hands back down to the mat. And now you can try to jump back. As you do so, you're going to land softly into Chaturanga. And then you're going to flow through into Up Dog. And then from there, you're just going to come back over toes into Down Dog. Now you can bend your knees here and try to jump your feet forward. Or if you'd like, you can just individually step them forward as we did before. Now, inhale, reach up. 
we're going to start working into a warrior flow. So going through that basic vinyasa, vinyasa flow again. Flat back, forward fold. From there, we're going to start shifting into a warrior sequence. So you're going to jump back again into chaturanga, push through into up dog, reach. You want to look up, make sure to keep your neck out of your shoulders so you don't want to bring your shoulders up in that position. And then from down dog, we're going to come into three-legged dog. Now other side, and starting off in basic three-legged three dog, so there your toe is going to be pointed towards the mat, flat foot. And then from there, you can open the hip, bringing your knee to the outside, your foot across the body. And now over bent knees, you can jump forward into forward fold. And inhale, reach up to the top, arch the back, and hands to the heart. So now, building that up. Back into our forward fold, flat back, back down to the mat, jump back into chaturanga, push through into up dog, shift back into down dog, and now lift your right leg for three-legged dog, and now you're going to bend that knee, bring it through your arms, and we're going to shift into warrior one. So front leg, that's your right leg, is going to be bent 90 degrees. You want to make sure to keep the knee open. So basically, when you look down at your knee, you want to be able to see your big toe. You want to make sure your hips are pointed forward. Your back leg is going to be straight and the foot angled out at 90 degrees. Reach your arms up. Take a deep breath. Hold for a few breaths. And then we're going to shift into warrior two. So front knee stays in the same position. Your back foot, you're just going to open up so it's perpendicular. From there, we're going to come into Peaceful Warrior. So reaching your arm overhead. And then this time, we're going to rotate, bring the left arm up overhead, nice and straight. Right forearm is rested on the right thigh. Back up into Warrior Two. Straighten the front leg, right into triangle pose, open up those hips. And now we're going to rotate through center and shift to the other side. Step your right leg forward. So from forward fold, you're going to reach up. Bring your hands to the heart. And now, back to our vinyasa. Forward fold. Come up flat back. Exhale, fold. And now we're going to jump back into chaturanga. Push through into up dog. And now shift back into down dog. So we're going to repeat that same sequence again. This time your left leg is going to come up through three-legged dog, bring the knee forward right between the hands and reach up into warrior one. So remember all those cues from before. Make sure you can see your big toe over the knee. If you can't, I want you to try to push your knee out a little bit. And then maintain that knee position into warrior two. Just the back foot's gonna change. Arms are out, make sure your, your neck isn't covered up by your shoulders. You wanna make sure you're pushing your shoulders down your back. Keep nice posture, nice tall neck. Moving through peaceful warrior. And your right, your left forearm down to the left thigh and your right arm is gonna be overhead this time. Look up, take a deep breath. And now straighten the front leg, shift forward, reach down. If you can't quite grab your ankle, you can always grab onto the thigh. 
you can grab up higher on the shin, or if you're more flexible, you can reach all the way to the floor. So this one is a really good hip opener. It's going to help open the side body. And then again, we're going to rotate through center, shift back to the other side, and step forward. In forward fold, take a deep breath. Reach up, arch the back, and hands to the heart. Now inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. And now this time we're just gonna step back into warrior one, reach up, after a couple breaths, you're going to shift into warrior two. Try to maintain a nice 90 degree bend in the front leg. Arms are nice and straight. Think about reaching through the fingertips. And now from here, we're going to tiptoe forward and attempt to carefully come up into half moon. So, okay, if you lose your balance a little bit, just gently come into the position. So you want to think about being almost planted flat against a wall. You want to make sure that your shoulder isn't leaning forward. You're not slumping over. You want to have a nice flat back, open hips. And then from there we're going to shift into a standing split. So you're just going to carefully rotate so that your hips are pointed towards the mat. You're going to bring your fingertips back towards your toes. And then the left leg is going to reach up as high as you can. From there, you're gently going to come up into warrior three. This is where it gets challenging. So play around with the balance a little bit. I want you to hold this for a couple breaths. If you can't with the arms out, bring hands to the heart. And then from there, we're going to move through it. So nice fluid movement, bringing the knee up, shifting forward, and then extending the leg. Hands are at the heart. And now we're going to bend the leg, extend the arms up as we reach the leg back into warrior three. So we're going to repeat this little flow here. So from warrior three, bent knee forward, press out, holding hands at the heart. Pull your knee back in and then extend your leg as you reach your arms overhead back into warrior three. So this is a really good challenge for your balance. It's a really good challenge for your core in particular. Not to mention on this leg extension here, you're really killing the quads. So everything's working in harmony here. Stay focused on what you're working. And then once you're through that sequence, you're gonna gently come back to a high lunge and now shift through center reach down to the mat nice wide legged stretch and shift to the other side of the mat step your right leg forward and forward fold inhale reach the arms up arch the back hands to the heart here we go. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, forward fold, flat back, exhale, fold. Now we're going to step the right leg back, left leg is front, bent 90 degrees, coming up into warrior one. couple breaths and then shift into warrior two. Focus on those cues I gave you before. And then from there, you're going to carefully step your way up into half moon. Just remember, think about keeping the chest open. Think about planting yourself flat against a wall. And then from there, you're going to gently rotate forward so hips point towards the floor as so you keep that back foot elevated. 
You're just going to bring your fingertips in closer to your toes and try to reach that right leg up as high as you can. From there, we're going to gently come up into warrior three. So play around with the balance. It's all right if you lose your balance a little bit. Really focus. And now from here, hands to the heart, bringing that right knee forward, extending the leg out, hold. And now bend through the leg, extend the arms, extend the leg back into warrior three. Hold for a breath or two and then move through that again. So bringing the knee into the chest, extend the leg forward. Hold, bend through the leg, and extend the arms overhead as you extend the leg. And again. And extend. Hold. And bring the leg down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Flat back. And fold. And now jump back into Chaturanga. Reach up into Up Dog. And shift back into Down Dog. Jump the feet forward and inhale, reach up, arch the back. And again, repeat, inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Jump back into chaturanga, shift up into up dog. And press back into down dog. Jump the feet forward. Fold and inhale, reach up. Arch the back. Bring your hands down and now let's repeat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Hands to the mat. Jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale into Up Dog. Exhale into Down Dog. Take a good deep breath there before you jump your feet forward, back into forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Arch the back. Hands to the heart. And now just starting at the other side of my mat. Shifting into a chair flow. So this time you want your toes pressed together. Legs are together. Knees aren't jutting over your toes. You want to think about sinking back into your hips. And extend your arms overhead. From there you're going to fold forward. And let's just do a gentle twist here. Stretch out the hamstrings, the hips, and the back a little bit. And now from forward fold, inhale as you reach back up into chair pose. So again, sitting into the hips. Arms are straight, reaching up as high as you can, and then we're going to twist. So your right elbow is going to be pressed into your right knee. Hands are pressed together, twisting through the waist, back through center, and down into forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And now, inhale, back into chair pose. Think about tucking your tailbone under here, too. You don't want to jut your butt out like we would in a normal squat. 
You want to think about tucking it under like we would in a plie. And now you're just going to twist to the other side, reach back through center, and exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms up, back into your chair pose, and come up to standing. So next, moving into our tree flow, you're going to bring your right foot to the inside of the thigh nice and high, knees out to the side, hands are at the heart, you're sitting up nice and tall, and you're going to breathe. If you're comfortable, you can reach your arms up, keep your arms straight, keep your shoulders down the back. focus. From here, we're going to stretch out that right leg. So you can grab your yogi big toe and extend the leg out. So the leg's out at a diagonal from the hip. If you can't quite straighten the leg, that's fine. Just work with the bend until you can build up the flexibility. This is also a really good balance challenge. And then inhale, reach up, hands to the heart. Let's repeat on the other side. This time we're going to bring the left foot into the right thigh. Left knee is open. Hands are at the heart. Take a few good breaths here. Just really try to center yourself. Feel the connection between the root, which is your foot. You want to feel that connection. So between the floor, you. You want to feel that grounding. And now we're just going to, again, stretch out the hamstring on the other side. Grab your yogi big toe and extend the leg out. Building up balance, flexibility, endurance. And back center. Now at the top of our mat, reach up, take a deep breath, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And now through chair, you're just going to gently place your butt down on the mat. And we're going to shift into boat pose. So I just want you to hold bent knee. You're in a V-seat position. So again, low back is tucked under. Shoulders are down the back. And then from there, we're going to twist 20 reps. So palms are together, tapping elbows to the mat on each side, working to keep your legs together and elevated. Once you've completed 20 reps, extend your legs up and then gently, slowly lower your back down. And now we're going to wrap this out. So reaching up, trying to come closer to your legs and then gently lowering your back down to the mat, keeping your legs elevated the whole time. We're doing 10 reps. Try to hold on the last rep, and then we can cross our feet, and let's jump back into Chaturanga. Shift forward into up dog. Stretch out our abs after all that work. And then shift back into down dog. Now coming through three-legged dog. We're just going to wrap this out. So right knee comes to the forehead. And then as you extend the leg back, push through your heel. And then let's open the hip up again, bringing your right foot across, back your three-legged dog. Now on the other side, left leg up, flat foot. As you tuck the knee forward, you're gonna point the toe. As you kick back, you're gonna press through the heel. As you tuck the knee in, exhale, deep exhale. You wanna feel your abs contract as you kick back, inhale. 
Now bringing the foot across, opening the hip, back to three-legged dog into down dog. And just bend the legs, come down into child's pose. Hold that a couple breaths, and then let's go through another flow. Flat back and fold. Jump back into chaturanga. Press into up dog. Shift back into down dog. Jump the feet in to meet the hands. Inhale, reach up. Arch the back. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Jump back into Chaturanga. Press through into Up Dog. Shift back into Down Dog. Curl the toes under, bend the knees, jump the feet in. And now we want to bring our feet wide. So about the width of the mat, we're going to start working into some arm balances. So hands are at the heart, coming into a sumo squat, opening the hips, connecting to our core a little bit more. I'm just going to come back a little bit further so I can show you guys better. Flat back, press your elbows into your legs. This is going to help open your hips while you focus on keeping your knees straight. From there, we're going to shift into crow pose. So knees are rested on the inside of the arm. So a little bit above the elbows. Keep your toes together. You want to think about trying to keep your arms relatively straight. There's going to be a slight bend. From there, you want to look forward. And you're just going to gently, one toe at a time, try to come up and balance. So play around with that for a minute. Take a good breath. And then next, again, from that yogi squat, we're going to move into crane. So crane's a little bit different. This time, your knees are right on top of the arms. So they're not coming out to the outside. They're sitting directly on top of your arm. So your butt's going to be a bit higher up in the air. You're going to feel a lot more off balance. But again, just play around with the movement. If you want to stick with crow, just stick with crow. And then come back into your yogi squat. Press up into your forward fold, and let's do a gentle twist. So keeping your legs straight, keeping your legs the width of the mat, alternating a reach up, twisting through the waist. Hands back to the mat. Bring your knees back down to the mat. going to come into tripod. So this one's a little challenging if you want to go for the headstand, but let's just work on tripod first. So you're coming to the top of your head. If you have a bun, take it out. If you have anything on top of your head, take it off. So arms are going to be wide and you're going to gently work to just like we did in crow pose, bring your knees onto the inside across the outside of the arm. So they're just gonna sit right across. And if you want, you could try to push all the way up into tripod headstand. It's tough and I have terrible balance, so I'm still working on it myself. But if you wanna play around, just take a minute. You can pause the tape and just play around with that. Once you're done playing, you can come back into a seated forward fold. So legs are straight out in front. Reach for the feet, or if you'd like, you can grab your yogi big toes. Make sure not to round the shoulders forward. And now from there, we're going to sit up. We're going to bend our right leg. We're going to hold our shin in between our arms. And we're just going to gently rock side to side, just opening up the hips. So it's a really deep stretch. If you can't quite do that, just gently work on that position first. From there, you're going to push your right arm straight against your right leg. Extend the leg up. Hold that. And then you're going to bend that leg over the arm. You're going to hook your feet. So your left is going to cross over your right. Your palms are going to plant on the mat. And you're just gently going to shift forward. So you want to look ahead and try to shift into compass. And now let's repeat that on the other side. So if you're forward fold on the mat, Why? 
This time we're going to bring our left leg in, knee bent, holding our shin, gently rocking. Try to sit up as tall as you can while you're doing this. And now, right hand is going to grab the outside of the left leg. Your left arm is going to push straight against your left leg. You're going to bend your left leg over that left arm, so it's going to rest on your elbow. From there, hook the right foot on top of the left, push your palms into the mat, shift forward, and try to balance and hold. And gently come back to center. So if you want to take a minute with that, you can go ahead and pause the tape too. That's another great pose. It's also really good for building up core strength. Once you're done playing, come back to the top of your mat. Let's go through another flow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. And let's jump back into Chaturanga. Inhale into Up Dog. Exhale, forward fold. Or excuse me, Down Dog. And then bend your knees, jump your feet in. Forward fold and inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Let's repeat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Palms on the mat. Jump back into Chaturanga. Push into Up Dog. Shift back into Down Dog. Jump the feet in. And then inhale, reach up. Arch the back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. So you can see my dog came to do some yoga with us. And there's my other dog. And then from there, you're going to jump back into Chaturanga and flow into Up Dog. Shift back into Down Dog. And just gently come down into Child's Pose. So we're almost done with our workout today. My dogs are pretty excited about that too. So we're just gonna gently start working in some really calming stretches, just something to cool us down a little bit. So on the mat, we're gonna bring our legs nice and wide and we're just gonna walk our hands forward as far as we can and just stretch. It's a nice hip stretch. It's nice for hamstrings. And now we're just going to bend our legs, coming back into the same pose we started in. Take a good deep breath, arch the back. And now inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. And you're done. Great job. <laughs>